Hey everyone, Gary here with Sarah Associates. Have you noticed that the cost of almost everything has gone up? Record inflation, supply chain issues, the war in Ukraine, further COVID lockdowns in China, and now monkeypox. Like, what the f***? How is this affecting the market, you ask? Let's get into the numbers and find out. Home sales have returned to more typical seasonal levels this spring, due in large part to rising interest rates. No surprise there. On the supply side, we saw 6,377 new listings in May, a 4% increase over last month and a 10.5% decrease over this time last year. This brings the total active listing supply to 10,010 homes, an 8.8% decrease compared to May 2021 and a 13.8% increase compared to April 2022. On the demand side, there were 2,918 homes sold in May. That's a 32% decrease from May of last year and a 10% decrease over last month when just over 3,232 homes sold. To the supply and demand in our market, we look to the sales to active listings ratio. The balance is what determines price fluctuations. When this ratio dips below 12%, prices typically decline. If it goes above 20%, it puts us in a seller's market. Right now, we are sitting at 29%. By property type, this ratio is 18% for detached homes, 35.5% for townhomes, and 38% for condos. The benchmark price for all residential properties is sitting at $1,261,101, a 14.7% increase over last year, and a 0.3% decrease from last month. Our buyer clients are keeping a close eye on rising interest rates, hoping to make a move before their locked-in rates expire within the next 60 to 180 days. Many of our seller clients are choosing to list sooner rather than later in case the market shifts to the point where prices start declining. What would you do? With the market constantly changing, the right strategy makes all the difference. Let's connect and put us to work for you.